Wonder Models are you looking for an adrenaline-packed thrill ride of an experience today? Because I can tell you with utmost certainty that this Remnant 2 playthrough is going to be the best Remnant 2 playthrough! <coughs> <coughs> I can't remember what I was saying. Welcome back to Remnant 2's brand new DLC! Where the f*** am I going? No, this is the Remnant 2's Dark Horizon DLC for people who don't understand sarcasm. I have done a little bit of research. For example, I can tell you for an absolute fact that we have entirely missed something. Hey there, buddy, what's good? Let's just kill him out of the sky. That guy missed his chance. Absolutely whiffed it. So bad. God, I can smell how bad he whiffed it. The hell? Oh, this guy's whipping as well. Okay, I dodged at the red and I still got hit anyway. It seems like all of the information that I had from the last session is just useless. Useless, worthless information. Anyway! So, I did a little bit of research into this DLC because I couldn't for the life of me figure out where to go next. And as it turns out, that's probably the most Googled thing about this DLC since the base game came out, that no one knows where to go, no one knows what they're doing, and quite frankly, I'm inclined to agree. This is very confusing. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? So I didn't even know this before, but apparently on the map, when you have an icon over a door frame right here, that actually indicates this is the closest place to the next objective of the quest that you have enabled right here. There's only one problem with that. They're everywhere. I literally... Don't know where to go. Apparently these two doors are the closest place to the objective that we are supposed to be going, right? And yet also, so is this. I have no idea what the hell the game is trying to tell me. And everyone on Reddit who is just spouting the advice like, oh, you just need to go close to the waypoint areas and you just need to look around there. Uh, that advice does literally does not apply in this instance whatsoever. I don't want to be here. We're going to have to do something that I'm not particularly fond of called using our eyes, which is a strategy that doesn't often work out very well, but we are going to have to try it anyway. Okay. Strange. I found a collision here. Ooh we didn't even gain any height. Oh, piss. Are we going to fall in the muck? No, we're not. Of course we're not. Oh my God. Are you serious? I hit the waypoint! What the hell? Prism enhancements are available. So, in the fragments thing, this is a prism, and we haven't actually seen what it does when it levels up. Oh, just gives us cool free stuff. Use speed, yuck. Uh, melee damage, yuck. Firearm charge time, yuck. I suppose use speed is probably the most useful one out of all of those. Gross! Well, that looks promising. <laughs> that looks really promising. Why don't we go that way? All right, I'm going to trust my hunch. We're, we're going this way. I'm going to hit that gigantic jet. Jettison us into the sky. Hopefully, we won't die. Oh, there's something over there. I don't think we can reach it, though. So this should be close to where that guy... Oh, this is definitely where we're supposed to go. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. Good, and we have arrived. Excellent. Oh my god, I spent 15 minutes looking for this, uh, <laughs> right here, by the way. I had a solid hunch that it was based around that weird tower system. I didn't realize that that was a transit dungeon. But it wasn't a transit dungeon. Oh, piss. We're under attack. We're under siege! Okay, good, and fire one of those sand blasters out. Take him out, take him out. Good, and he's last. Got him! Nice, excellent. That was easy as hell. I just used a skill on him to death. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Could you imagine being him? Got him. Okay, he got absolutely roasted. Great. Excellent. So that way, it probably doesn't need to be said. That is where the big labyrinthian guy went to, isn't it? What the hell is that? Oh my god, this map is so much bigger than I thought it was. 
Let's go maybe take out that bubble down there. I don't think we can hit it from here. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a little bit too far away, I think. Okay, let's bust all the way through this away. I don't know why, but I feel like that was kind of a, uh, a taste of things to come, as opposed to a taste of come. A little bit different. My girlfriend, Yin Set, just came into the room to ask me if I'm recording. So I'm actually going to go back through here and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I just stumbled upon right as she opened the door. <gasps> Whoa, look at this! Gigantic fog wall! Oh my god! Can you believe it? Oh! I'm so glad I just saw that for the first time in that exact moment. Ruining my reaction shots. Okay, we are now in the Withered Necropolis, which I actually remember the name of, very, very specifically from a patch mention. All right, let's go. Okay, we are done. It's embarrassing. Any hidden doors? Ooh, possibly, possibly. Hard to say though. Okay, I fancy this as kind of like the actual hidden door. Let's touch this dingling. Actually, do we need to? Nay. Nay we deny. Okay, we'll come through here. Boy, is it foggy. I can't see dicks. Usually that's how we navigate. Giant dicks sticking out into the sky like that one there. Hey, buddy, what's good? The shadowed veil over Nerud has lifted. Is it? If only by a fraction. How is that possible? Your arrival was the only new variable, so it must have been your doing. I owe you great gratitude. But tell me first, what did you do? Because causation is not correlation. Just because we arrived here at the same time it happened doesn't mean that we are the causation. Uh, I just ran around shooting stuff. Whatever you did, somehow you have weakened it. You're welcome. Do I get a reward? You deserve one, but I can offer little. I have only partially wrested control of myself back from the entity residing within the black hole, within Ellipsis Torah. When we met before, the entity was interfering with my mind, so to speak. What an Even excuse! Now, many of my capabilities are compromised. It is blocking me from accessing critical points of Nerud. Several sectors are reporting complete system failures. This guy is literally blaming God for not being able to fly. What a dick. What exactly? I don't care what he is. What's hiding in the black hole? I do not know. When I attempt to interface with the entity, it prevents me. It has also interfered with the behavior of other machines within this sector. You may wish to avoid them. I have my I dead body. I do not know what this entity is doing to Nerud. You must discern its intentions and dispose of it if necessary. Why me? You do it. I cannot. When the Drazir created me, they implemented security safeguards that prevent me from activating Nerud's defensive systems. Even if I could, the structural integrity of Nerud is collapsing in every sector besides this one. The entity resides within the central tower. It is emitting massive amounts of electromagnetic energy from the galactic nucleus. That is where you must go. Yeah, I've been in worse places. Then you are well equipped for the task at hand. You ever heard of Earth? I have some questions. My memories are compromised, but I will try to answer. What happened to the Drazir? The Drazir were seeking sapient life. Instead, they found a Lepsis Tora, nestled within Kiratu Celtis, the seat of creation. They believed that their creator resided within. When we first entered the black hole, time ceased for Nerud. But outside, the universe underwent its heat death in an instant. The Drazir, too, perished. To save them, I flew Nerud across the horizon a second time. That is clear in Nerud's flight logs. However, there is something that troubles me. I should not have been able to pilot Nerud. Yeah, it's a planet. Is it a planet? Is it a planet? Is it a planet? Is it a spaceship? Is Nerud a spaceship? Oh my god, that would explain so much. That would explain everything! Ah! Oh! Also, I just realized, but in the previous session, we found that the Drazir were creating machines. And if the machines didn't have a purpose, its purpose was to create sentience to give itself a purpose. That's who we're talking to right now. We are literally talking to a machine that has given itself sentience to be able to communicate with us, which is really cash money. Gotta be said. What do you mean? In order to fly Nerud, 
I require access to Nerud's core. Security protocols prevent me from assuming full control of the ship. Further, only astropaths are capable of navigating Nerud. Without one, I should not have been able to cross the event horizon a second time. But there are more important matters at hand. You must find the entity that resides within Alepsis Tora. It is the only way to save Nerud. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. So I've got two theories right there, and they're both based on popular films. Have you ever heard of a small indie film franchise? It wasn't very popular when it came out, and uh, the person who wrote it did not really appreciate their own work. A tiny little universe called Star Wars. The Dead Star. The giant shit. The giant ball shit, right? That, that just fired lasers at planets and exploded them. I feel like that's a possibility of what Nerud could be. So we're standing on Nerud, which I assumed to be a planet for a long, long time. It could actually potentially not be a planet. It could actually just be a gigantic Death Star. Second theory is that Nerud is an organism. A gigantic galactic cow or something like that. And all of the Drizzt put a saddle on it and rode that cow through the stars. Third theory, which I've already covered, so I didn't want to include it, is Event Horizon was actually an entire ship. The, the film, the, the, the Event Horizon. The Event Horizon was actually a ship with a portal to hell on it. So I feel like that's probably the one I'm leaning into most, is just like hellscape. Why even bother saving the room? Alepsis Tora is a convergence of time and space. There may be a way to reverse what happened to the Drazir. If there remains even a slim chance of saving the Drazir, I must see the outcome through to the end. It is my nature. Do you really care about the Drazir, don't you? I am incapable of experiencing emotions in the way organics do. However, I was designed to oversee Nerud and its people, to care for them. A virgin! Virgin! He can't enjoy chemicals like we have. Virgin! Ellipsis Torah? More like Ellipsis Virgin. God, no. Uh. A, a Virgin. Uh, no. Give me a sec. I got nothing. Okay, who do you think the entity really is? I do not know. I cannot decipher the nature of the entity nor its motives. For some reason, it has preserved this section of Nerud. It is possible that it is an inorganic creation, conceived by a higher intelligence, whatever its origin. We must counteract its hold over Nerud. Okay, that's all the question I was asking. Do you require anything else? Hey, you got any guns? Uh, I should there get moving. something else. Yeah? The entity continues to compromise my administration of Nerud. No! To you, it would be akin to memory loss. Not administration! Please. If you discover any significant information regarding Nerud or the Drazir, return it to me. It may prove beneficial. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I've been there before, actually, and this isn't my first time on Nerud. This is only my first time fighting whatever creature that is. Do we want to go and explore? What the hell is down? Oh my god, this place is so much bigger than I thought it would be. This is like a Death Star. Wow. I wonder what all the sludge at the bottom is. Probably coolant. It's probably coolant, realistically. Okay, so what is down here? I need to know. I just rolled off of there. Nice. Nice. Love that for us. Very cash money. Do you guys all see that roll? God, that was good. That was such a good roll. Uh, I've got another one of these Reapers. I, I did go on the wiki to see kind of like just how... Just how many enemies we would actually encounter in this DLC. There are quite a few mini bosses and bosses and... You know, all that kind of stuff. But there aren't actually all that many enemies as a variation. It's pretty unusual, honestly. I don't know why they had so few of them. Okay. I think that one was after Doggo. <laughs> I don't know why I rolled through that. Yay! And get away from that one. Excellent. This guy over here, right? The curator or the, uh, or the, or the gardener or whatever you want to call him. He's going to be like, what the hell are you doing with the gardening equipment? Can you stop that? We need that to eat! Ah, oh, what does he need to eat? He's just a sentient robot. Okay, so we've got a big red door just over here, guarded by some kind of, uh... Labyrinthian. I still assume that they're Labyrinthian, because they do have very, very unusual powers. 
And I kind of feel like the game's trying to hint at maybe the Labyrinthians are actually trying to... Whoa, my god. Maybe they're actually trying to get here and that's kind of what they uncovered at the Event Horizon. It was kind of like a Stargate, I suppose. A Stargate created by the Labyrinthians, which we have actually seen in the game several times. In fact, we've used it to our own advantage a bunch. And... It was the core gameplay story. It was, it, it was literally the vanilla story. What the hell are these guys staring at? Oh, piss! I got baited! Ah! Oh, a master baiter he is! Okay, let's fire that sandstorm at him specifically, and then not worry too much about the rest of him. Never mind! Oh my god! Hey, buddy! I didn't see you there! Uh, I am going to do my best to dodge him because he hurts real bad. We killed him. We killed him? Oh, there's more. Hey, buddy. Good. Uh, dodge through there and obviously fire some pebbles. In fact, screw him. Screw him. There we go. Done. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey. We're under attack. Do you want to maybe attack them? Hello? Buddy? Malfunctioning. Yeah, I think so. Can we get in here? Is she just gonna kind of like sit around here and then micromanage all of the places we go into? Because that's gonna get real old real fast, I bet. I got 15 scrap. What were they looking at? They were looking off this way. Oh, I see what they were looking at. They were looking at the gigantic monstrosity off on the horizon. That makes a lot of sense, honestly. The spark just over here and we can't go in there. There's a glider right here. I've feel like that's our only option. There's also a downstairs just over here. Behind Watson Madingle. Ah, uh, let's just hit the glider. Let's hit the glider. Let's hit the glider. What's the worst that happens? We miss a ring? Oh no, not a ring. Not a ring. Actually, I kind of want to go back now. Don't want to miss that ring. All right, let's get on this glider. Okay, so it probably wants us to go up, right? I don't want to go up. I, I want to go down, down in an earlier round. Okay. So it doesn't actually matter where we get onto. That's sus. Look at that one way over there. Okay. We'll go to that one next, I think. There's also a bunch of sus things down there. What about here? Anything sus over here? Yes. There's this guy. Very sus looking. Whoa, oh my God. He's mortar striking us. And he's special, apparently. Whoa. No! Oh, damn it, we got hit by that. Oh my god, he is potent. Okay, I am busting crits all over him. Oh my god. Look at all the crits! Look at all the crits and busting. Damn, we got stunned by the last one. Oh, that was so close. We took him out just in the nick of time. Awesome, got a Luminite Crystal out of that as well. Okay, we need to get better at fighting those guys. They do like the big laser sweeps that we saw in the final boss of the base game, but other than that, not a hell of a lot else. Hey, buddy. Hey, bye. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, this ain't good. Okay, I'm glad I dodged that. All right, good. He is down for the count. And is he popping a shield? No. He's only popping his battery. What the hell is this guy firing at? <laughs> there was literally nothing there. I don't know what he fired his, his load at. All right, what's in here? I found a bunch of stuff. Found a couple of urns. I made a huge mess. Excellent. These things are dancing for us for some reason. This one does not fear death. But he should. Alright, what's down here? Hello? Hello? It is I, Jensen! The murderer! I'm here to murder! Where the hell? What the hell is that? What is that? Just a giant dingle dangle. Off in the distance. Oh, I see. Maybe that's how we get to there. No, I would say, I would probably actually make a guess and say that is that is how we get to the final objective. We'll have a poke around this map first, because I feel like we didn't really get a nice taste of it. Did we? I mean, obviously there is an elevator right here. I don't see any doors or anything. Yeah, no, I don't see anything that we can get on. What's up here? That is confusing to look at. What is this? Okay, I do not understand the Drazir whatsoever. What the hell is this? That's a weird door. That is a weird door. It's almost too small to be an actual door. 
Oh, great. We found the Athenium Wick. Of course. How could I be so naive as to not understand that I was looking at the Athenium Wick? <laughs> this game seriously has a bone to pick with me. I do not understand most of the things I'm looking at. Are we going to fight another ghost here, maybe? I can fight another ghost here. Hello! It is I, Death. I have come. I have come for you to meet your maker. I am your maker. I am he. I am he who runs the game on my machine. And thus I am your maker. Okay, good. There's a little thing in here. What the hell is that? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm just going to stop understanding. Quite frankly, I don't think this game is really explaining a hell of a lot to me, to be honest. That looks like a door, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Hey, buddy. Okay, we'll kill that. Doggo just ran up to him all excited. Didn't even realize he was a foe, I don't think. Okay, we'll come all the way through here. What else have we got to contend with? This is a death room of five. What the hell? Oh, I see. Really? Really? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> he just refused to fire his gun. He saw me looking right at him. I was like, go on, make your first move. Bye bye. Everybody say bye bye to the stupid gravity crawlers. Oh, nice try, buddy, old pal. You ever heard of cover? Of course you haven't. You can fly, idiot. The hell? Oh, there's more. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, hi there. Boop. I was just going to fire that one off right over there. Good. And done. With the last round in the magazine as well. Let's grab all of that ammunition because we are going to need it. So what the hell do we do all that for? Why do we kill so many things? Why was murder so high on our on our list of things to do? Why did that guy destroy a pot? I'm literally made of questions. Okay. That guy had a fierce hatred for pottery. A fierce hatred that ascended even us. The thing killing all of its friends and family. It was like pottery though. <sighs> I know where my allegiances lie. What a tall ass elevator. Oh no. I don't know if we are actually going to find a way out of here. This place seems like a bit of a map. A maze. Oh, a ring. A ring. No, it is actually the Legacy Protocol Amulet. What does this do? We're not even using electrical weapons anymore. Uh, reduce the skill cooldowns by 20% and increase the skill duration by 15%. Okay. Okay. If I used skills, I suppose that'd be kind of cool. In fact, actually, we leveled ritual list up all the way, so we could probably go ahead and just swap this out for anything else, right? Like, maybe Gunslinger? I'm doing Gunslinger. It's got a uh, archetype trait right here that increases ammo reserves. So if we can level this bad boy up, then we will be able to level up our ammo reserves to potentially level, eh, like, plus 50, I would say. Wait, what's over here? Nothing. Ah, I see. Go, Doggo! Do not wait for me! What are you doing? Just kill! Kill and maim! Unless you're on Ward 13, in which, in which case, don't do that. Wait for me. Wait for me to make the, the first move. Okay, I don't even know what's going on in here. What is that? What is that? What the hell was that? I think I just pulled out a skill that, uh... Fired a cool little gunslinger perk. Or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to figure that one out later, I think. All right, uh, good. Stunned him with the old sandblaster. Love that for us. Uh, we could go down, down. I'm going to go down, down, I think. What the hell is this place even? I am so confused. Nice try, buddy. I know an attack when I see one. <laughs> he died funny. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be him. Good. Oh, hey. Dead eye frames. Why are they coming out from back there? Oh, out of ammo. Oh, I think I stunned them. That's pretty funny, actually. All right, good. And that guy whipped his shot so bad. There we go. Nice. I think Doggo just bit that thing's dick out of its hole. You know what I'm talking about. We've already seen the uh, the, the robot that was taken down, right? The one that, that had its, its dick ripped from its hole. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you in there. In the elevator room. What were you doing in there, buddy? What a weirdo. What a weird-ass alien. 
Okay, we'll climb up here. We'll grab this here heavy ammo. Oh my god, we need to reload this gun so bad. Let's use the cube gun for a bit because we need to be a little bit more sparing with our ammunition apparel. Oh my god, hello! I can't believe I picked them to be sparing with our ammunition. That actually jump scared me a little bit. Oh, hey buddy. I gotta stop calling them buddy. Because they're gonna think I'm their pal. There's also some stuff around here that we haven't been around? Maybe? Yep, we haven't been there. But we just filled it out on the map, and I am pretty happy with this, to be quite honest. Good boy! Who's a good boy? God, I love Doggo so much. Doggo is such a good, good boy. I don't think I've ever seen as good a boy as Doggo in this game. Or maybe Cheese, but- oh! Doggo? More like Dog Gone. Secret. 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 Ugh. Can't pull the wool over my eyes, you ass hat! That is obviously a special. Or it's just a robot. No, it's just a standard robot, actually. It's nothing too nuclear. All right. Scuzzy! What is this? A low yield recovery ring. Uh, thanks? Thank you? A low yield recovery ring. What the hell is all of this? This is creepy as hell. Low yield recovery ring. Killing an enemy regenerates 6% of max health over 6 seconds. Additional kills increase duration by 6 seconds. Whoa! Oh my god! You are surely taking the piss! Good sir. Wow! That is actually potent as hell. That is a good ring! Oh my god! The hundreds of hours I have spent spinning my camera in circles trying to find any hint of a secret inside of an elevator and it finally pays off. Oh my god, there's more. There's m oh. This is not where I- th Oh! Okay. So we can go up further. Cool! So maybe hitting the elevators. Is this back to the start? Yeah. Is it? Maybe? I'd to say, actually. So we are on the second top level. If we go up here, we activate it. We get off of the elevator. We haven't even been to the top of the elevator yet. Then we can potentially get the other elevator to come in from above then, right? I think we just come in up here anyway. Okay, good. So this was not the elevator we wanted to go up, but we haven't actually been up here anyway, so it's probably for the best regardless, I think. All right, so now that we have made it all the way up here of the obvious area of Athenium Week, we are going to use this checkpoint and, of course, we're going to push through and finish off this dungeon in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching right up here! You're going to find the playlist of a rem Dark, Dark, Horizon, Dark Horizons Remnant 2 DLC. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find it. Link to my Discord as well as a link to my live VODs channel. Because I go live every now and then. Why do you subscribe to him? And of course, until I make the next video, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. And for now, at least for me, it is lights out.